Welcome to this Beegraphy tutorial. Today we will create an intricate curved tunnel using various nodes and connections. This demo highlights Beegraphy's parametric design by creating arcs with custom sizes and spacing for generative design. Add us create two construct point nodes to define its geometry. We'll introduce the range input node. This node allows us to control numerical values within, creating a dynamic parameter for our arc's diameter. With our two points defined, we want to create a curve that connects them. We will look for the Connect with Curve node. This will create a curve between our points. And to determine the shape of that curve, we need to use the Curve Editor node. We now will use Divide by Count node so that we can create multiple points on the curve. Now, let's create a movement node that will allow us to move the points in the x direction by a certain distance, which we will define with the range input, which will be the length of our tunnel. Next, we're going to add another move node. Now, we will create the vector XYZ node to determine the height of the dead curve. Now, we will use the division node, which will divide the length by 2. To control how high one tunnel is, let's create another range input node. Now that we have the points, let's create a series of curves. For this, we will add an arc three points node. This will generate an arc using three points. We will then create a surface between these curves using the loft surface node. This will create a surface using a sequence of curves. We add the hexagonal panel. This node will allow us to create a panel of hexagons on the loft surface. In order to control the number of hexagons on the panel, let's create a number input node. Now, let's give our structure some real-world thickness. We will use the pipe node. This will give our hexagons and arcs some depth. Now we will add a line node, which will enable creating lines between arcs. We will add another loft surface node. This will create a floor for the tunnel using the lines we created. Finally, to enhance the visual appearance of our tunnel, we use the apply material node. This node allows us to assign a wide range of materials to our geometry, influencing its color, metallicity, roughness, and opacity. To simplify your workspace, we can use the hide function to hide additional nodes. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.